fearless tips and talks, you will find wisdom and strength to overcome fear and anxiety in a world that feeds it. Have you ever wished you had someone to coach you through stress and anxiety? Someone you could just pull out of your back pocket to give you a quick dose of wisdom and encouragement. Now you can. Welcome to this episode of Fearless Tips. I'm your host, Christy Bolwer. Last week, tip was 17, and we talked about building up our faith muscles. Well, from personal experience, I have come to believe, to truly believe that it is impossible to overcome anxiety without building your faith. So as I like to put it, the Bible is a prescription that cannot be overdosed. Think about that for a second. The Bible is a prescription that cannot be overdosed because the Bible contains hundreds of passages that urge us, that that tell us over and over not to walk in fear. The spirit of fear is not from God. Peace is from God. And when we walk in the peace of God by knowing the word of God, that's when we have peace. If you need help building your faith muscles, I really encourage you to go back and catch tip 17. Now, check this out. This is truly an interesting fact. I looked up the word fear and the new Strong's Concordance of the Bible. And you're never gonna believe this, but there is over 404 references of the word found in the New King James Version. Now, some of those, uh, they count towards fearing the Lord, which just simply means reverence and respect. So it's not the actual like anxiety, fear, worry. But I think it's really safe to say that there are a lot of reminders calling God's people to not be afraid. You may have heard, you know, there's 365 references to not have fear. And that's one reminder for every day. Well, that's where this comes from. And I think it's fair to assume that God knew we would need that many reminders because it's only human to fear. It's in our fleshly nature. We're gonna spend a lifetime on this earth learning to love God, learning the love of God, which casts out fear. That's what the Bible says. So since we're struggling, since we're still learning, we are gonna struggle with fear and anxiety and even depression in some seasons because we haven't got to heaven yet, right? So we're gonna have these fears and these worries. So the goal isn't to cultivate a life free of fear. Such life doesn't exist. It's to learn how to fear less. Until we fully understand the perfect love of God, which can't really happen until we're in glory with him in heaven, we're gonna struggle with fear and anxiety. Since we're humans who are a constant work in progress. I mean, that's what this life is about, is becoming more like Christ every day. Doesn't it make sense that we might need some help along the way? And what if, just what if, what if that help comes in the form of medication? So let's tackle that big question. Does God approve of medication to treat mental health conditions? That's the big question that we're gonna answer right now. Well, I can share my story because my body was in flight or flight mode. And since there was a flood of cortisol and adrenaline coursing through me, the fight or flight stress response, that was active. It was going, it was rushing. I mean, long-term activation of the stress response mode is what got me in trouble. Sometimes our bodies, they can get stuck in this mode for various reasons. But mine, it was due to lack of rest and overworking. Any workaholics out there right now listening? The consequences of my behavior created physical and chemical responses, which triggered panic attacks. And at the same time, the happy messengers in my brain, now these are known as dopamine and serotonin, Well, they were radically out of balance as well. So consequently, my mental health was affected and I began to experience depression, 
and suicidal thoughts. Some of you are listening to this right now and the medical side of it is all just like, it makes sense. I remember reading about this in a book going, wow, I get it now. Like it, it makes sense. Our body needs balance. Too much or too little of something will create problems. So I have this little, uh, this little analogy that I like to use, okay? Everybody knows what a teeter-totter is. So imagine a teeter-totter. If only one person is on it, then the enjoyment of bouncing up and down, that's never gonna happen, right? But another person joining the teeter-totter, that's gonna balance out the fun. Well, my body was like a teeter-totter with only one person. I was severely out of balance. And the chemical responses triggered by countless years of overworking, um, just like quite frankly, being a workaholic and striving caused me to be at a point in life where nothing was enjoyable, nothing. I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't enjoy my children. My parents actually had to watch my children for me. And at that moment, I had a choice. Believe in a supernatural miracle from God to heal my dangerously out of balance body or let medication be the thing that joined my teeter-totter to help me get back in balance. So here's what's crazy. (laughs) Surprisingly, I found that the answer didn't need to be either, that it could be both. So here is your fearless tip of the day. You can believe in miracles while taking practical steps towards healing. I'm gonna say it again. You can believe in miracles while taking practical steps towards healing. Here's the thing. I believe God could have wiped every panic attack away that I endured. He could have stopped them. He could have healed my out of balance body, restored my happy messengers and, and stabilized the overflowing amounts of adrenaline and cortisol because he is God. He's God and he is still in the business of providing miracles. We can still believe in miracles, but I also believe that sometimes God will take us through a problem to understand a promise he wants to instill in us. And that's precisely what happened in my story. I faced problems. And as a result, I learned God's promises. We sometimes need to walk through the valley of the shadow of death to know that God is right beside us. Part of the reason why I started these tips and talks on the podcast was because I wanted you to discover and declare God's promises too. There is something powerful about knowing God's promises deeply. So even though I didn't receive the miracle of healing from panic and anxiety disorder overnight, I still had many miracles along the way that took place. These many miracles that were activated by the prayers of my husband, friends, and family, and myself were incredible. But also one of those many miracles was anxiety medication. There is no shame in needing anxiety medication. Let me pray for you. Father, the intersection of faith and science for some reason can be so complicated for our minds. If we believe in science and we can't believe in faith, and if we believe in faith and we can't be and believe in science, and I just, I don't see that. I see that every good and perfect gift comes from above. And if that happens to be medication or a, a great doctor or a great um, counselor to help us work through that stuff, then that is is from you and we need to be excited about that and celebrate that father. So for any of my sisters and brothers that are listening that have just maybe been abused by the fact that they've been told that their faith is weak if they have medication, God, I just pray that you would speak to them right now and remind them 
that their faith isn't weak and that if they need to reach out and speak to a counselor, talk to a doctor, or perhaps even get on medication, Lord, that you would give them just the peace and the courage to do so, Father. And I pray for any faith giants that have maybe spoken that out to someone, Lord, that they would hear this right now and realize that sometimes there is a place and time for medication, Father. I believe there's a balance in all of that, Lord. We also know that anxiety medication isn't the answer, that you are the answer, but sometimes you'll use medication as a tool to help people get closer to you, Father. So whatever it might be, wherever someone is listening right now, God, I pray that you would speak to them, help them overcome. In Jesus' name, amen. If you found this to be helpful, you can find out so much more in my book, Nervous Breakthrough. And guess what? Right now you can order it on Amazon. Also, can you do something for me? Will you help us get the word out about this podcast? I would be so honored if you would share it with your loved ones, rate it, review it, and also be sure to subscribe. And lastly, And I really mean this. We want to hear from you. If you have suggestions or ideas on something that I should cover or a tip that you'd really like help on, please send us an email, podcast at fearlessunite.com. Again, that's podcast at fearlessunite.com. Thank you so much for listening. 